Hello Collective, welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, share the content. Do whatever your soul, your spirit is guiding you to do. If you just feel like watching, go ahead and do just that as well. So, the ancestors are here. This is the message that I received. I was sitting on my couch doing nothing, being productive. <laughs> and I heard the ancestors are here. They don't want peace. They want problems. Always. So, for someone out there, a group out there, whatever you did, I'm telling you, <laughs> whatever you did, whatever you've been up to, it is absolutely over. I am being told to let you all know that. There's a group that is breaking up. You all did something to a Queen of Cups. It is absolutely over. I'm telling you, it's over. It is absolutely over. Whatever you've been doing, invading someone's privacy, extra projecting to someone, you've been warned, you've been told to move on, it is over. No longer should you participate in whatever it is you've been doing because they don't have time for your games. They don't have time. They don't have time. That's what they keep saying. And one of the ancestors that was talking, I don't know whose ancestors this is, but they are a little bit on the petty side. They are from the light, but they are on the petty side, so they are with the games. They have no time. They will wear you thin. They literally said, we're here. So, Queen of Cups, whatever you've been doing, whether you're a genuine Queen of Cups, Queen of Cups in the reverse, I don't give a toot. <sighs> they're not playing with you. They want you to know whatever you are doing is over. You need to put an end to it. You need to move on. I don't know if you're trying to run, but run, run, run as fast as you can. I don't know where you're going to run to because they know you. You have something of someone that you have something with you that belongs to someone you've been attacking. It is like a GPS tracker for them. They know you very well because you've been doing something for a long time repeatedly. They've been telling you, don't do that. Stop doing that. Even your ancestors, your own ancestors have been telling you to move on, to stop what you're doing. You did not listen. And now they're here. Honey, I don't know what you've been doing, to, doing, but you've lost quite a lot. You're going through a lot of emotional distress. You're walking around with a mask on your face, pretending like everything is A-OK. -okay. Your friends are distancing themselves from you because they don't want to have a horrible ending, but they all have karma coming because they participated in whatever you were doing. You lie. You lie a lot. You misled your group of friends. You misled a lot of people around you to believe that someone did something to you when they never did anything to you. You said someone did something to you. You told people that someone said something about them when they never did. So they all grouped up together to come after someone. And now the ancestors are here. This chapter of you attacking this person, lying, misrepresenting, smear campaign, stealing someone's energy is what I just heard. It's absolutely over. You lost. That's what you just said. You lost and you need to sail on to karma waters. Uh, this queen of cups you've been causing issues for, they're sailing the karma waters through. So there's nothing you could really do to stop their forward movement. You have been told to move on, but you're absolutely broken. You are determined to destroy someone because of either a connection, because you're insecure, you don't know how to focus on yourself and leave other people alone. You walk around with your chest up, but on the inside, you are void. People should only walk around with their chest up if they are genuine at heart, mentally stable. You cause yourself this loss. It could have been avoided is what I'm hearing, but you just didn't know when to stop. You were told to stop, but you just didn't want to. So you're going through loss. And whatever you stole from someone, took from someone, 
They are still moving on to common waters. You're in a hurry to leave to go somewhere. I don't know where you're going. I don't know where you're going. I'm telling you, still moving to common waters. For someone out there, you it's like you are up against a queen of cups that's not genuinely a queen of cups. But you are selling the common waters into abundance. This is what this person has been trying to block. There's something about a connection. This person wants someone that that's interested either in you. You're not interested in that person or you don't know that person. You're not paying these people any mind. You're in your own little world or something like that. But this has to do with some type of abundance. They want to attach themselves to someone that has a lot of money. But this person is not interested in them because they know the truth about this person's character. Or they're just not interested in the person that's how life goes so she is pissed off because the person has their eyes on you they said why don't you have eyes on me what's wrong with me what's so different about her what's so special about her why do you want to be with her blah 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 honey that, that that's ridiculous so because i'm tired of these people's energies these karmics queen of cups in the upright my darling we're going to focus on you today you are putting an end to a chapter. Something is over with. There's something where people have been working over time to block your forward movement. It is absolutely over. You are starting a brand new chapter. You're still coming up as love and kind, compassionate, genuine, a dreamer, a powerful manifester. Yes, you may have experienced a lot of emotional loss because of what people did behind the scenes, but you are absolutely an overcomer. You are an overcomer. And everything you endure had to do with your ascension. It was divinely guided. It was meant to happen. This was, this was for your growth. You needed to mature spiritually, emotionally, mentally. You needed to be a little bit more aware before you were just a lover, a loving person, man or woman. You gave and gave and gave and gave, never getting anything back in return. And you kept giving over trusting people, people taking advantage for, of you, but yet you come back and say, well, it's okay. You know, we're all humans. Things happen. No, your ancestor says, said absolutely not. Things don't just happen like that. You're supposed to learn. Okay? So everything they were doing was for your own good. They didn't know they were helping you. This is how the world, the universe had it set up. These people didn't know they were helping you. They said like people are trying to destroy you, but everything they do is just gearing you into your abundance even faster. You are quickly approaching your abundance. This six of swords, six of swords has to do with quick action. Quick action. Quick movement. So you are quickly stepping into your abundance. You may have to move, but it's absolutely okay. Your move is going to lead you closer to where you're supposed to be possibly help you step into your purpose. You're going to be partnering up with someone that will be working with you. It may not be a lover. It could be a lover for some of you, but you two will absolutely be working together to build an empire. It may end up turning into love for some of you, but that's not the focus. The focus is that you will be building an empire. I swear, every time you, I sit here to do my readings, that's when neighbors have stuff to do. They're coming out the window, the doors and things like that. They have to go to the bathroom 10,000 times. You know what? Thank you for the background noise. We will call it white noise. But you are absolutely sailing into your abundance. Yes, whatever these people did may have caused you some type of heartache. You experience a lot of betrayal by families, friends, whoever, people you don't even know. You experience a lot of betrayal by people that you were familiar with, which is why this Queen of Cups is out here. It has to do with familiarity. You knew some of these people that were coming up against you. They smiled in your face and stabbed you in the back many, many times. 
thinking you didn't know, but you are the queen of cups. You intuitively know what people are doing, but you tend to stay quiet because you don't want to upset the environment. This is what you used to do. You didn't want to upset people, make people feel uncomfortable while they were stabbing you in your back and laughing in your face. And then the universe said, we need this baby girl to grow up. We need this baby boy to grow up and ascend. They are not doing that. So they forced you into a situation that you absolutely had no choice but to grow the heck up, to mature. And I'm sorry I'm putting it that way, but that's how it's been given to me. If you are not familiar with my channel, it's not that it's not that old. We've been here since January the 26th. And even with that short span of time, we've had people trying to delete the channel, doing all types of things. As you can see, we are still here because the Most High has a purpose for this channel, has a purpose for my life. I absolutely will fulfill my purpose regardless of what any karmic or group of karmics do behind the scenes. I am absolutely aware of each and every one of you that are taking actions behind the scenes to cause me an ending, to block my forward movement but you will not i am in charge of my destiny okay this was for your growth they needed you to grow up they needed you to stop over trusting people they needed you to go through an awakening because going through that awakening brought healing to your bloodline you did something that has not been done before your ancestors from the past did things in a specific way. That's all they knew how to do back then. But you came about and you changed everything up. You have ancestors of the dark coming into the light because of what you have done. Most of you don't even understand how much you've blessed your bloodline by taking the actions that you have taken. Instead of being bitter, spiteful because of the experiences or the traumas you've experienced, you said, I'm going to heal. That is beautiful. And this is why people that are coming up against you, going above and beyond, taking money out of their bank accounts to pay for spell work and to pay for people to assassinate you, don't understand why you are still breathing. You are still in a positive energy. You are still one of the most highest favorite. It's because you did the impossible in the eyes of man, but in the eyes of the most high, you fulfill your contract. Because nothing is impossible in the universe that we live in. Let's get into this reading. You are absolutely coming into abundance. People don't know. I'm telling you. This is going to turn into love later. For some of you. You're going to be building an empire with someone. Someone is actually solid in life. But... They are going to be even more prosperous with the unity that they're about to have with you. This is divinely orchestrated. For some of you, you had some type of contract with someone else, but people interfered with that. It was okay. Because this is an even better contract for you. So as I said, every heartbreak that they did or cost you, everything the enemy stole from you, everything the enemy did to you was absolutely meant to push you into your abundance, into fulfillment. People are about to be looking stupid. Absolutely stupid. When they see you and your partner together, you and your abundance together, you fulfilling your purpose in life, they are going to be looking stupid. And jealousy is going to be consuming people. Someone in here, this queen of cups that's been coming after you, is not going to know what to do with herself. Someone is extremely bitter and broken, and they want to destroy you. Not because you did something to this person, not because you stole from them, not because you took their man, whatever it is, because type, these types of women, that's how they think. They're in competition with everybody. Anything that moves, they're in competition with it. People came after you. This person came after you simply because you are of the light. You shine bright. You don't have to make an effort Everything comes to you naturally. You attract naturally. You don't chase. You attract. And it pisses these types of people off. You know why you attract? It's because of your heart. 
and your mind. You are in alignment. Your heart and your mind are in alignment. So you are in alignment with source and your higher self. So it's absolutely easy for you to manifest what it is that you desire to manifest. And because you're pure at heart, the cosmos Fs with you. They will absolutely give you whatever it is that you want because you are living in pureness, in love. You're healing people. And the very people that were coming after you, you're possibly healing them too, but they won't tell you that because the ego is too big. But that's okay. You don't need validation from anyone to tell you that you are good at what you do or you're legit. You don't need that from anyone. The Most High validates you. Okay? Absolutely equal gift and tick. Creativity, you and this masculine are absolutely very much. I'm telling you, this is a higher level soulmate you are meant to connect with. You two will be working together. Equal give and take, partnership in love, life, everything. Best of friends. This is what they've been trying to block you from receiving. It's like, if I can't have that, she can't have it. Why can't she, Why does she deserve that? I deserve that too. No, you're done because you haven't done the work to deserve these kind of things from source. Okay? To be the queen of something, you have to actually put in the work. You're walking around. I'm saying that because I hear someone walking around pretending to be healed. So they're saying that they're better than you. That's why I'm saying to be the queen of something. You are not healed. You're not doing the work to heal. You need therapy. You won't go to therapy. You need assistance. You won't ask for assistance. So you are tearing other people down behind the scenes, leading your friends. Thank you. Into traps. Chaos. You're not healed. You don't want to heal. Because you've done too much and you don't want to face your demons. That's why you don't get these kind of gifts and blessings from the Most High. And you steal from people. You take from people. You steal love. You steal life. You steal uh, happiness. Joy. You steal a lot. You take a lot from people. You lie a lot as well. That keeps coming up. So people are seeing you for what you are. Your friends don't want the the, the, the uh, smoke anymore. I swear, when that message was given to me, they literally said, you don't want peace. You want war. Always. So they didn't come to play with you. There are some people, when you meet them, they look a certain way. Maybe they look easy to pick on, easy to bully, easy to take from. That does not mean you should. Thank you. It does not mean you should. It means you need to sit down, mind your business, leave them alone. They don't pick a fight with you. Don't pick a fight with them. Don't bring nothing to them. And their ancestors won't bring smoke to you. The smoke is not clearing up. Someone is doing a lot of cleansing baths, but the cleansing baths are not working. I'm telling you. Divine union. Someone is passionate about you. You're showing up in the Queen of Cups energy and he's showing up in the King of Cups energy. You're a match. There was divine intervention to bring you two together. People have been blocking some type of union. There's something really big about karmics going above and beyond to block unions block soul contracts and the cosmos is fed up it's that yeah you had a contract to kind of complicate this person's life a little bit but you're doing a little bit too much now sit down so balance is being brought into this situation thank you Marriage, matrimony, celebration, bounty, harvesting. You two are going to be successful together. You're about to be in your privileged lady energy, privileged gentleman energy. And people are pissed off. They're upset about that. We don't care. We don't give a damn. 
Because Starcy, Queen of Cups, you deserve to have what's yours, whether you're a man or a woman. This is long overdue. Absolutely. So this is just for you to be aware of what's coming to you. You're ending a chapter. You fulfill your purpose in that chapter. You've learned the lessons that you were meant to learn. You've learned all of the tricks of the enemies. You've grown like you're supposed to. And you stay in this Queen of Cups energy regardless of what was going on around you, what people were doing. You mourn behind closed doors. You had to walk around with a mask on your face, acting like you didn't know who was doing what. Betrayed. Disappointed in people. You knew people for 10, 15, 20, 30 years that accepted bribery behind the scenes to block your forward movement. And they will smile in your face every day. Called you just to see if you were still alive. Called you to see if you were in distress so they could pass on the news to the next member of the karmic group. But you still managed to move forward. You knew you had a lot of healing to do and you were still willing to do that. And they don't understand because everything they put you through, none of them will be able to endure or survive. So even with your heart broken, even with disappointment, you said, I'm still going to be moving forward. I will absolutely fulfill my purpose. And you did just that. Some of you could have one child. You could have children. You could be a, 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 a man, woman, whatever. There's a lot of different uh, uh, scenarios. You could be a widow for some of you. I just heard that. But your guardian angels, your ancestors, you best believe they are paddling the boats for you. They are with you, making sure that you get to your destination because your success is success for them. Your healing is healing for them. Some of your ancestors have been in the dark and suffering for a long time. And here you come about the last person they expected to do what's right. You do what's right and you get them out of the darkness. Now they are on your side. When you initially started this journey, the ones in the dark didn't care too much for you because you were exposing things in them that they did not want to face. But you, you kept going. They were even going up against you at some point. Like, oh my gosh, I can't stand her. Nobody cares. She's always loving like, oh, I'm in love. I love this person. This person is this. This person is that. They didn't want to hear it. <laughs> they did not want to hear it. And that's because they have been in darkness for so long. Feeling unworthy to be in the light. They didn't realize that they were trapping themselves with that mindset. There is a reader on YouTube who I absolutely admired. Her channel is Intuitive Goddess 333, and I think her name is Bella. There's a card in one of her deck that says, Life is a projection of the energy you put out. Your ancestors of the dark did not know that they were the ones keeping themselves in the dark because they were projecting their energy of feeling unfulfilled, unworthy, undeserving of being in the light, living a fulfilling life. life. And you came about and you showed them, hey, come to the light. You had to be gentle with them for a long time. Because the, it, it was uncomfortable for them. It was scary. This is what this type of person, this woman has been going up against you. This group that has been going up against you. This is the same mindset they are in. They are afraid of the light. They don't know what's in the light. There's nothing in the light but bliss and happiness. Fulfillment, growth, ascension. Things that you actually need to thrive in life. Not toxicity. But you helped your ancestors put an end to the old paradigm, the old way of doing things. Absolutely. Healing is not something that's easy to do. 
especially if you're doing it on your own, like myself that I had to do it on my own. It is not easy to do. In the beginning of the journey, you most of the time don't even want to do it. You don't want to wake up out of bed. You don't want to think about nothing. You don't want to go to work. You don't want to uh, uh, eat. You don't want to even go to the bathroom just to wash your face, take a dumb, nothing. You just, you don't want to do it. You don't feel like doing it. It's too much. But somehow you have to find the strength to keep going one day at a time. Okay. I, when I started my healing journey, it was, oh my Lord, it was hard. It was hard. And while I was going through my healing journey, that is when a whole group decided to come after me, just like you, Queen of Cups. It started up with a lover, and then it got to a point where it was a group. And while I was going through healing, they were taking turns coming after me. Spell work today, spell work, round the clock, honey. Wearing my behind scene, and I'm just like, oh my lord, like I know what's going on, but like, what the heck do I do? So, little by little, step by step, day after day, I learned how to start protecting myself who to give to, who not to give to, who to smile with, who not to smile with, but remembering to never turn bitter, to never turn evil, to never turn spiteful, to never hold hate in my heart to always for, be forward moving, forward moving. And that's what you need to do. Never mind what's going on around you. Stay focused on your path, on your journey. People like these, they will always get what's coming to them because they themselves needs to go through, need to go through healing. And source has a way of forcing these kind of people to heal. So don't worry about what anyone is doing behind the scenes to you. That, that should let you know who they are already. If they have to act from behind the scenes, that should let you know that you already won the war. So they can believe they won something, but they didn't, they didn't win anything. But setbacks. This is your future. Bright. Absolutely bright. I'm telling you, stay calm. You are extremely strong. You may be someone that underestimate yourself or people underestimate your, est underestimate you. But you are stronger than you know, whoever you are. You are absolutely strong. Take courage to keep going forward. Don't let life beat you down. Do not let people beat you down. People do things like that when they are insecure or they feel threatened by you, intimidated by you. That's why they do things like that. It's not because you're a horrible person. It's not because you did anything to anyone. It's simply because people are intimidated by you. They are afraid of your light. It bothers the demon within them. So they feel like they have to shut it down. If you love yourself, they say you're a narcissist, you have an ego. Well, if I don't love myself, who's going to love me? Certainly not you, because you're out here trying to unalive me. Right? So please, whatever you're going through, stay calm. Your path is secure. Your union with, who, with whoever, this queen of king of cups, your abundance. Your fresh start, they are all secure. There is nothing a human can do to take any of these things away from you. Everything is in divine timing. I told you the ancestors are here and the temperance card is out here. Remember I said that? That's how I started the message. That the ancestors are here. They are here. So you are not alone. You may seem alone in the flesh, which is possibly why people think it's easy to take you down or you're like the guinea pig for spell work. They can throw other spell work to you and nothing's going to happen. But you are not alone. Someone, someone out here, someone watching me, you're a collective. Your mother passed away and she's the one that's watching over you. 
and she does not play about you. You were very young when she passed, so you probably don't remember a lot about her, but she's watching over you. And she wants you to know she wishes a mother effort would. She's waiting for someone to bust a move again. Literally. She does not play about you. This woman watches you 24-7. 24-7. She says she's sorry that she was not there to see you grow up, to help you uh, find your way in life. But she wants you to know she is absolutely with you. And she wishes a mother effer would. That's what she keeps saying. Your destiny is fine. It's what she just said. I'm here. So she's here. I'm going to focus on you, Queen of Cups, because, honey, I'm telling you, these people, yeah, their toxic ways are over. All the black magic, all the voodoo dolls stabbing, because someone in here does do black magic. That's why we have this devil card out here. Someone does black magic. They're into, they have an altar. They may have a voodoo doll of you, a picture of you, something of yours. that Something that belongs to you is on this altar. There's a karmic couple in here that's coming to an end. All these toxic things they've been doing behind the scenes, this magic, whatever you want to call it, it's all coming to an end. They thought you were an easy pick. I'm telling you, they overindulge. This woman was told multiple times to leave you alone. She overindulged. Someone is obsessed with another person obsessed unhealthily obsessed this woman is obsessed to the point where it's sickening like if you could be if your skin could be peeled and put on this person she will be having the time of her life she will feel fulfilled i'm an earth angel now but this woman overindulged in black magic she wanted to block your fulfillment because she has no fulfillment in life she does not want you receiving any type of offers not in love not in finances not in joy not in nothing because she has none of those things there's a couple in here again i keep being told about this couple they're going through some type of tumultuous period right now because they came after you Thank you. I'm telling you. They wanted you trapped in your mind, but they're the ones trapped. Someone is having a really bad time. She may not want to be wanting, she may not uh, uh, want to be getting out of bed. Someone is having a hard time waking up in the morning to go to their nine to five to create content to clean themselves up. Someone has lost their hygiene routine. They don't take care of themselves anymore. Their breath stinks is what I just heard. Someone has lost it. This woman has lost it because she knows you're still receiving wish fulfillment. It's that like, I've done everything. I've done everything to trap you, to block you, to stop you two from coming together, to block you from receiving your abundance. How is it that you're still receiving it? No, someone is having a mental breakdown. That's why we have this eight of cups out here. Someone may have even paid for someone to come and do something to you, to have you trapped, to have you locked up. Maybe this is the plan they're coming up with now. It's not going to work. That is not part of your soul contract to be locked up. None of that. This is what's for her. Like that woman's car says in her deck on her channel, a life is a projection of the energy you put out. This is why she is going to be in this energy for a very long time. 
she is mourning because she knows what's coming for her. Your fit is secure, madame. Life is a projection of the energy you put out. I'm telling you, she was causing illusions. <laughs> it's not... It's not getting any better. This woman is crying. Someone is crying. Mental conflict. Losing her mind. I'm going to do this very literal right now. All of her toxicity is being ended or being ended. People don't have time for it. Spirit doesn't have time for it. Your ancestors absolutely do not have time for it. For whoever lost their mother, your mom is over it. This woman indulged, overindulged into black magic, paying for nonsense that was not leading to nothing. She's crying. She's broke. She's lost a lot of money and finances, connections. People don't want to F with her anymore because they see her for who she is. She knows what's ahead of her. Someone could be facing legal consequences because she did not know when to stop. She caused a lot of illusions. She wants to seal the karma waters. It's not happening. She's in a hurry. She wants to go on the run. Where will you go? There's nowhere, absolutely nowhere for you to go. She's crying. Absolutely crying. And she's still trying to cause illusions regardless of what's going on in her life. All of this is going on and this woman... Is still trying to cause illusions to your either your soulmate or someone that's interested in you. She does not want this person saying the truth about you. She wants them to be blind to the truth. And this masculine sees the truth. He is disappointed because he did not pay attention or he didn't heed to the warnings that the universe was giving him. Okay? Telling you it's a pentacles. Future in short. Listen, the cars are coming out in stacks today. Spirit has a lot to say. I'm telling you, it's not getting better for this woman. Ending death. Divinely orchestrated death. This is not something she can get out of. So it doesn't matter what practitioner she goes to to do, like some type of cleansing for her, give her recipes and things like that. It's not going to do anything. You are binded. You are binded to your deeds. All of that dark and negative energy you were putting out, you are binded to it. You have to serve your karma. You thought it was all fun and games at first. Oh, look, 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 look. I'm going to go do this to her. Just watch. Watch me do this. I'm going to go steal some of her energy. I'm going to go manipulate her, play mind games with her. I'm going to go tell her someone did this and she's going to believe it. And you thought you were winning because someone didn't say to you what they knew about you and your group or whoever you are. This woman is done. I told you your ancestors are here. They don't want peace they want war. Always. They don't play about you. This is how the message started. And it is being reiterated. It is being verified, solidified, legitimized, whatever we want to say. It's over for this woman and her friends. And you are sealing onto karma waters. Someone is losing sleep. Someone is in a nightmare. Someone is in heavy regret, absolutely in regret, because you are stepping into sunshine. Your pathway is clear. You see this right here? Marriage is secure with an emperor. So this could be this emperor showing up in different energies absolutely has passion for you he loves you someone is in love with you but this union is coming together you could have had a contract with someone else as i mentioned i think before but this person did something and that contract is void now this emperor is stepping up to the plate
to bring balance into your life for some of you. But your enemies are done. Absolutely, I'm telling you, offer. This is of pentacles. It's on the bottom. It does not want to leave because they want you to know that it is yours. There's a message this emperor was sending you. Someone interfered with it, but it'll still come to you in divine timing. That car was like almost upside down, so I'm going to put it that way. Okay. There's an emperor in here that is losing his mind. Absolutely losing his mind. This is someone with a fixed mindset. This is someone that does not know how to heal. This is someone that is in some type of old mindset. This is someone that has, lo that has lost their youth in doing like tr trickery. This is a trickster. This person is sitting and reflecting over their lives, realizing that they have not really accomplished anything out of all of the maliciousness they've done over the years, but they're so stuck in their ways, they don't know how to change, so they keep being malicious. Someone is out of control. They've led a lot of people astray as well. For some of you, this is a reckless emperor. Okay. There is some type of altercation that is going on behind the scenes. It could be amongst a group of people that is a mixture of men and women. For some of you, this is a mixture of men fighting amongst themselves, right? Because the truth has been exposed about something uh, either an emperor did or this queen of cups did. People are fighting behind the scenes. There is chaos. Absolute chaos. Someone is sailing to karma waters, not just you, Queen of Cups. Your masculine or someone else that's interested in you is sailing to karma waters, seeing things from a higher perspective. They were forced and guided to see things from a higher perspective because it was absolutely necessary for balance to be brought into this situation so people can go on with their life, serve their karma, heal, and move on if they're willing to. The cars are coming out in stacks today. I told you there's an emperor in here that is out of control. Working with what? Oh. No, not working with the Queen of Cups. This person wanted to take action to come in and do you something. Someone wanted to come in, take actions, and do you something. Queen of Wands. And I'm being told, yeah, for some of you, he was working with a queen of wands. It's like someone wanted to come in, take action to trap you in something, but they cannot. They were trying to send a message. Someone was, was going to send a message to cause some type of illusion, but they cannot. It's either being blocked, interfered with, or they just did not send the message. Someone is procrastinating is what I'm hearing. Yeah. Someone is procrastinating. Either they are afraid of what you're going to say to them. And I don't even think you're angry with these people. You're probably not even paying them any attention. But just know for the emperor that's in the upright, he will be doing the right thing. There are a few emperors in here. So it is not this one that took that is reckless and things like that. But there's someone in here that you are meant to be with is procrastinating on sending you a message or has been procrastinating on sending you a message because they are afraid of what you're going to say to them, how you're going to view them. But they're going to go for it at some point. And they're going to come towards you, take charge of the, the situation and come towards you to make this offer. Dang. Someone abused their power. Somebody abused their power. 
And then what I'm hearing, and it's just, it's so many voices I'm hearing. There's an emperor in here that has ulterior motives for someone. This page of cups, offer, page of pentacles offer is not what's meant for you. You are meant for the ace of pentacles offer. But there, for someone, there's an emperor in here that wants to come in and cause you some type of illusion. This is someone reckless. Someone vain. Someone that that struggles with power or something. I'm not, I'm not getting it. He has a power issue. He likes to feel in control and have power over people. Someone has control issues. So you two will not get along very well unless they heal. Someone wants to come in and give you an offer because they have ulterior motives for you. Someone sees you as beautiful, so they may just want to have like a one night stand with you or something. But when they come in, they're going to gaslight you, make things look promising and things of that nature just to disappoint you. And as I was saying, do not focus on love right now. Someone also wants to come in to give you some type of false offer. It's going to be like they're going to take something really small and make it look like it's abundant, it's fruitful, it's promising, you're securing your future, things like that, but it is not. This is something that's going to bring you an ending. Do not. Be mindful of any offers you receive. If people are having a hard time getting in contact with you, that you say some, that you, there's a message in there. There is a message in there, and it's going to be different for all of you. Either you need to go somewhere that you don't know, either you need to do something you haven't been doing, or these people are being blocked out of your energy for a, for a reason. And someone for you, just, just when someone decides they're going to take action to come in and do you something, your ancestors are going to step in and finish them like it's going to be like immediate no hesitation it's like the minute they decide to get in their car to come towards you is going to be an ending for them yeah this person has ulterior motives whoever this other emperor is ulterior motives this is someone hiding a secret, not a secret, lots of secrets. He's not going to be straightforward with you. He's not going to tell you the truth. He's going to tell you what other people did. John did this, Betty did this, Karen did this, but they're not going to tell you what he, he's not going to tell you what he did. I was telling them not to do that to you. Blah, 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 blah. But when you were going through that situation, you don't remember him coming to help you out, do you? No. So he was part of it. Or he stood by and watched these people do something to you, for a lot of you. But now he wants to come in and give you some type of gaslighting offer because he has ulterior motives. Someone is trying to have you go backwards in life. You see how your story started with you ending, putting an end to an old chapter? If you partner up with this emperor, you are going to be starting over, living in fear, uncertainty. This is like you walking in the dark, not knowing which way to go. If you don't, you don't know if you're in the right direction. You don't know if there's something or someone standing ahead of you. You know, like when you turn all the lights out in the house and you're standing in the hallway, and you have to walk down that hallway. It's a dark hallway. You don't know like if there's anything in there, you're afraid and things like that. And that is what this person wants to do to you. That is the energy they want to put you in. Uncertainty, fear, light, hopelessness. You don't know who to trust. You will be you will be starting your life all over again, is what I just heard. Going through another dark night of the soul. The moon for me is what that is. Going through a dark night of the soul. Facing your fears and things like that. Secrecy. 
mystery, things like that. That is what the moon represents for me. So someone wants you to go to, through another dark night of the soul, even though you've already done all of the work that you needed to do in order to ex uh, uh, ascend. Wickedness. This is wickedness. For some of you, that King of Cups is who you're supposed to be with. This is a divine union that's meant to be. Be, be, be mindful. If someone like this comes to worse, you be mindful. Be mindful. I just heard this emperor could be married or in a relationship. He's not going to tell you that. He's going to make it seem like he is single. Because someone may know that you don't date people that are not single. So he's going to come off and say that he's divorced and things like that. But this part person is in a marriage. Someone is in a relationship and they want to come in to mislead you into thinking that they're single. So you can form a new contract with them as far as getting into a relationship which binds you to them spirit spiritually. Because every time you lay with someone, you are creating a contract with that person. You're binding yourself to them. This is why people have a hard time letting go of toxic people. You know who you are with is not healthy to be with, but because you've laid with them, maybe their S game, their explicit game is on point. You keep going back, but they're draining you of your energy, stealing from you, and you keep going back, and you don't know why you can't let go of toxic people. You have binded yourself to them. This is why it needs to be... People need to be mindful of who they are laying with. And I'm telling you all that because I've learned this the hard way. People are so suckers, energy leeches out here. Be stingy with yourself, with your body, with your heart, with your mind. Be stingy. Be selfish about your body. Don't lay with just anyone. I ended up laying with someone in my younger days that, Lord have mercy, this person turned out to be like an occultist, was into energy draining. And when I said I never understood why, like I just felt like just tired. This was before I went through my awakening. Like I just, I just didn't feel fulfilled after like the experience and things like that. Anytime we had an interaction, I never feel fulfilled. But this person was always happy. And that's because they were an energy leech, draining people energy. Anyone they lay with, they were draining their energy. I'm speaking to God on this truth. Be mindful of who you lay with. Now, I'm not saying I was out here being reckless. I've never been a reckless person in that manner. My mouth can be reckless. But I've never been reckless with my body. I don't want to put that message out there. <laughs> I've never been reckless with my body. But my mouth can be absolutely reckless at times, lethal at times, but necessary. So please, if this is something you struggle with because it's coming up in the reading, get help. Get help with that. This is something a lot of our brothers struggle with and i'm not saying brother as far as just black i'm saying men boys this is something they struggle with they they lay with women easily you don't have self-respect if you do things like that your worth is not in how many women you live with what about loyalty what about commitment what about fulfillment yeah, you live with this person now and you get that momentary fulfillment, but then afterwards you feel empty on the inside and then you have to go do it again with another person and you still feel empty on the inside. So you're like going in a circle. You're like a chicken with its head cut off. You don't have any fulfillment in life. And when you have to live with this person, that person, this person, that person, her, 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 her to feel fulfilled in life, you will never achieve fulfillment. So be mindful, brothers and sisters, who you are laying with, how many people you're laying with. Because every time you lay with someone, you are creating a soul contract with them. 
And the longer you get with them, the longer their soul contract becomes. This is why people don't understand why they are having complications in relationships with people they should not be having complications with. It goes back to lifetimes. It goes back to other lifetimes. It's very much more deeper than that. People see sex as just something where, oh yeah, it's for pleasure. No, it's not. It's not just for pleasure. There's a binding contract to that. You're binding yourself to someone every time you lay with them. And you get in a toxic relationship with these kind of people. Yes, their S game is on point. Their sex game is on point. But the longer you stay with them, the worse their soul contract becomes. You may end up having to work with this person again in another lifetime to see if you are able to overcome that uh, uh, karma of lust. You're binding yourself. You are binding yourself. Your soul, your physical body, your mind, you are binding yourself to this person. So you're probably going to have to come back another lifetime to work off that karma because you have to learn that lesson to overcome the need of having to sleep with multiple partners. That is a karma. Let's pray that this channel grows to it will, but let's just be humble. <laughs> let's pray that this channel grows to what it's supposed to so we can actually learn what we need to learn from someone that has actually put in the work. I am literally going to school to learn spirituality because there's a misconception about it. People get on camera, they do tarot, but the practicality, you don't know how to add it. They give you messages, but you don't know how to apply the message to your life in the right way. So let's hope and pray that this channel gets to where it's supposed to be so I can actually put in more work to help our communities heal. But please stop binding yourself to people. Take time to heal. Don't be out looking for love. If you have to look for love, you're not going to find it. Love will find you. You have a soul contract with someone. You're going to meet them at the right time. So if you have to look for it, you're probably not with your partner, the person you're meant to be with. If you have to get dressed, go to the club, hope to, hoping to meet someone there, that's not your partner. If you have to get dressed, go to the restaurant, or go somewhere hoping to meet someone there, that's not your partner. You are going to meet your partner, your soul twin, on the least expected, at the least expected time. When you done, have your hair done, you know that's when men will come compliment you. Sisters, isn't that true? When you don't have your hair done, when you don't have any lip gloss on, your lips are all dry and crusty, things like that, that's when they'll come to you. Hey, sis, how you doing? Sir, 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 please step away from this tree monster that you are seeing today. I don't usually look like this. Please excuse me. This is when they will usually come in. You don't have to go looking for love. Have love within yourself for yourself first. And when the cosmos believes that it is time for you to partner up with who you're meant to partner up with, you will. And some of you are in soul contracts with people that you are meant to learn a lesson from. So until you learn those lessons, you're going to keep stuck with those toxic people because you haven't learned the lesson. How to let go of toxic people. How to stop giving loyalty to the wrong person. I was just told to say that. So that's for someone specific that watches this channel. Stop giving loyalty to the wrong person and people. They are not loyal to you. You're out here sharing your abundance with people that are stabbing you in the back. I'm being told to tell you that. And you are a guy. You could be in your 40s or your 50s, but you are sharing your abundance with people that are stabbing you in the back. Every last one of them around you are stabbing you in the back. They are not your friend. Some of them could be family member, but they don't have your best interest at heart. They don't care about you. It's, they're all there for money. You're abundant. They are not. So they attach themselves to you because they know they will have money coming in that way.
I'm telling you, you give. <laughs> you give to people. You're giving to the wrong people. But whoever you are, Queen of Cups, if this emperor approaches you and you are you need you are at a point in your ascension where you should be able to tell who has good and genuine motives for you i'm telling you this emperor is not genuine this is someone that's going to bring chaos in your life this is someone that's going to bring chaos in your life they are probably being called an emperor because they are a father figure. They are mature, uh, mature in age, in number, but not in mentality. This is someone that likes to trap people because he likes to have control over them. When he's in control, he feels secure. He feels safe. He feels powerful. But at the end of the day, he is insecure at the core. So whatever message he was wanting to send you is not coming in. Thank goodness he's procrastinating. Thank goodness he's being slowed down by the cosmos because this is someone chaotic. Someone that picks fights unnecessarily just to get a reaction out of you. They tell you stupid things just so you can say something back to them and then they can laugh about it or call you stupid. You don't know what you're talking about. But really, it's them that don't know what they're talking about. Be mindful. Someone like me, I am not in a hurry to find love. I am not in a hurry to find it. I am focused on my pentacles, my legacy, leaving something for the next generation. That is what I'm focused on. So if someone comes in my life, I need you to be all that in a bag of chips, not just in looks. I don't care how you look, your mind, your heart, your morals, your ethics. We need to care more about things like that. Not how much money someone has in their bank account. There's a woman in here that that is all she cares about. This is her flex, that she can get money out of men. Since when is being a leech and a gold digger a flex? Since when is that a flex? Since when is taking advantage of someone that's showing you genuine love a flex? And the person she was with was genuinely interested in her. And she's lost that. This person is getting away from her as far as possible, as quickly as possible. Because he knows she's greedy. This woman is greedy. She's reckless with her body. She falls in love love quickly. She lives with people and things like that. This is someone that's impulsive. Yeah, I'm telling you, this, this emperor, honey, be mindful. Be mindful. This could be someone that goes to practitioners to get readings on people. This is how he stays in control. He looks into your life, learns about you, and then he knows how to strike. He goes to a practitioner, a dark practitioner, and he asks them a whole lot of questions. And you know these types of practitioners don't mind looking into people's lives that have not given them permission to look into their lives. He will ask what your traumas are, what you're struggling with, what your what your insecurities are, things like that. And when you encounter this man, he is going to use it against you. But in the beginning, he is going to be your knight in shining armor. And when he starts mistreating you, you're going to think it's accidental. Oh, he didn't mean to slap me. I walked into his palm. Oh, he didn't mean to call me a bee. He was just joking. Oh, he didn't mean to text that person. She probably texted him first. Oh, you know, he didn't mean to look at her. She was there and he just turned his head. Making excuses. Stay away from this person. They don't have any genuine motives 
for you. They want to end you. This is someone I just heard is intimidated by women that are self-sufficient, independent, regardless of what's in your bank account, independent, sufficient. He does not like women that think for themselves. He likes women that are dependent because it's easy to control someone that is dependent on you because they rely on you for their livelihood. So be mindful. This man is being exposed. And the reason that he's like this, like this, he's been in a predicament similar to that. And when he learned how to get himself out of there, and I guarantee you, he did not get himself out of that situation ethically or morally. He did some slimy things in his past to get to where he is so that he could be able to do this and trap people. I just heard. Trap people. He takes from younger people, youthful people. He sees you, you're vibrant, you have a whole life ahead of you, you have a whole bright future ahead of you. And he says, oh, I like that one. And then he starts giving you gifts and things like that, taking you out to eat, complimenting you, a gentleman. And then one day you come home and it's a brand new person. The representative has left the building and you are stuck with a monster. Monsters, monsters are here. Creatures I see looking through the windows. Monsters, this is a monster in flesh. Monster. Be careful. Thread with caution. Stop being so eager for love. And I'm saying that because I've walked that path. When I was younger, I was eager for love. I am absolutely not anymore. That is because I had to learn a lesson. I've had to walk through life alone and I am absolutely okay with that. No mother, no father. I had a guardian that raised me. It was not the best situation, but I appreciate everything she did for me. But as far as maturing and learning the lessons in life that I needed to learn, I had to go through everything by myself. So please, when I say something, it is because I know what I'm talking about. I've experienced it. This man is a monster in flesh. This, some, this is not, I'm not saying that it's not possible for people like this to heal, but they will not be doing it in this lifetime. This is someone with ulterior motives. Someone was destroyed when he was younger and he never learned how to heal from that. Someone got a little bit of money and they got egotistical and they never got away from that. That's what I just heard about him. Someone for you, this emperor may not even have money. But because he knows that you are abundant or you have some type of money attached to you, he wants to come in and make it look like he is financially stable so you can partner up with him so he can use you. This is someone that overextends his uh, 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 boundaries violates other people's boundaries. Too many secrets. This will be even someone, for some of you, he doesn't go to a high priestess, but he's a high priestess himself in the reverse. So he does the work himself. So as soon as he meets you, he looks into your life. He may come to you and ask you a few questions about yourself. That's all he needs. That's all he needs. That is all he needs. Kind of like myself. I don't need anything personal about you actually to read into you. You want me to do a reading on you? I just need your questions. I don't need you to tell me your name, your age, your eye colors. I don't need any of that. You just tell me what questions you want me to answer, and I'll answer those for you. This person is like that for some of you. That is how gifted the emperor is. But he misuses that. And he's been coming after you. Some of you, when you're sleeping, this person is astro projecting to you to take from you. But luckily, when you wake up in the morning, your energy is already replenished. And he does not know what to do with you, what to make of you.
because he's done this numerous other times and it has destroyed the lives of those people, but you're still in this energy. He wants you in this energy. This is the energy this man needs you in so he can be able to control you. He wants you to be vain, deceitful, just like him, financially focused, just like him, out of balance, out of connection with source so that he can come in and control you. But you're constantly showing up in this energy and he's not liking it. He does not have anything to offer you because he cannot manipulate you. You are the truth. Okay. There's absolutely a reason why the high priestess in reverse is next to the star. Someone has fallen from grace because they were deceitful as well. Someone has fallen from grace. Their throne, their spiritual throne is no more. They cannot lie anymore because you are showing up in your energy. It's like no matter how much lies, how many lies someone tells, you are consistently in this energy. So there's a contradiction and people want clarity. So you can expect to be hearing from different people to ask you what happened. What happened, honey? We haven't seen you in this long. We haven't heard from you in this long. Someone told us you did this or something. someone told us this happened. People want your side of the story now because things are not adding up. The math is not mathing. The logic is not logicing. It never was going to because someone is a liar. This woman, whoever this is, whether this is this emperor showing up in here, this is someone that is dark. And for you, uh, for some of you out there, someone is going through healing. They're coming out of this to be this. Because someone came up against you and they lost miserably. So they're going through healing. It was necessary. They learned a lesson. You were a lesson for someone. Someone wanted people questioning you, questioning your gift. But you are committed. You are sincere. You are solid. You are absolutely solid. Some of you are about to be working with an institution. Some of you don't even know that people, the, the people that are watching you or, you know, the people you are uh, interacting with on a day-to-day -day basis, they're watching you and saying, oh yeah, I want to work with this person. Wow, I really like how he does that, how he carry his, carries himself. Someone knows you're committed to your work. They were trying to get you out of balance, emotionally confuse you, have you living in mental conflict and things like that, not wanting to get up and do your practice or whatever it is that you do. And, I, and I'm saying that because this is something I've gone through before. People throwing magic at me so that I don't feel like waking up to take care of myself, not feeling like waking up and taking care of my children, my work, doing anything with my life, not feeling like taking care of myself, didn't want to brush my teeth, don't want to eat, don't want to uh, wash my behinds, and I'm naturally not that person. And I'm telling you, little by little, I had to heal. So this is what you're going through. But you're showing up in this energy because you've done the work to heal, just like myself here. You are solid, you are committed, and this is a beautiful thing. This is what you were supposed to do at this time of your ascension. Stay committed. You were being tested as well, is what I'm hearing, by the universe. You were being tested. People wanted people too were testing you. So there could be someone behind the scenes or a group of people behind the scenes that were testing you to see your commitment, how committed you were, if you were going to give up. Someone said that you were in the dark work. It's not true. I just heard that. Someone said that you were a dark priestess. You were in the reverse. You were deceitful, conniving, financially focused, uh, uh, not family oriented. You didn't care about people, but you're being seen as the star. You're someone in the upright, a blessing, the truth. You're nurturing, inspiring. You're, he you're a healer. You've been coming to this planet for a long time, is what I just heard. And you are committed. You are worth a commitment. You are someone that is beneficial to work with. Okay. Huh. 
speaking to God on his truth. I'm speaking to God on his truth. Then I said this person needs healing. What is this? The eight of cups has to do with healing. This emperor needs healing. This emperor needs healing. Badly. This is someone financially focused. You're speaking the truth. You're living in your truth. I am speaking the absolute truth about this emperor. He needs healing. He cannot come into your energy until he is healed. That's what he's been told. It's been illuminated to him. This was someone coming in to gaslight you, misguide you, possibly put you in an unhealthy domestic situation. This is not someone that was just going to come in and sleep with you one time. This is going to be a long, like a lifelong partnership where they will, you know, either marry you because I see the Hierophant out here. They were going to marry you, lay with you. You get hooked on them because they're doing using magic behind the scenes so you can uh, fall in love with them. You are supposed to be addictive to this person, addicted to them. And they were going to break you down little by little, little by little, little by little. They said, oh, so you, you think you're a star seed? You think you're special? I'll show you. They were going to break you down little by little until there was nothing of a star seed left of you. You were going to be a figment of your, of your imagination. You would have looked at yourself. This is literally how it would have been. This is what you would have been. And this is what you will be. This is what this man was trying to turn you into. But he's blocked. This is why he cannot communicate with you. He cannot take action to come towards you. He's blocked. You see the difference between these two? It's bright over here. This woman is upside down. This high priest, this high priestess's gown turns into water. So this is someone drowning. If we think about it, because the water is down here, this if this car is upright, this is water, right? So if you flip it over, she's drowning. Basically, where's the water going to go? So this is someone drowning. She is drowning. Meanwhile, you're upright, pouring into the, the uh, environment that you are in, nurturing. There's growth around you. He's going through healing. He's having to walk away from this plan. It's exposed. This is your justice that this man is walking away. He is being forced to walk away. Go find healing, sir. We wish you the best. You were the one that had ulterior motives for us. We didn't have ulterior motives for uh, for you. We star seeds. We didn't have ulterior motives for you all. This is your karmic justice for this man to leave you alone. This king of sword, this queen of swords in here is also walking away because she was part of some type of collaboration in taking you down, blocking you from moving forward. Your enemy, your not your enemies, your ancestors are on their behind. I don't want to do this anymore. This is not going to end good. I don't think that's going to work. We need to leave her alone. This is someone possibly sending an email to someone to leave you alone, sending a text message, calling someone. They're either in a meeting or something, and she's telling them, no, honey, this thing is still here. Calling someone. Email. I, the word email keeps coming up, so she's possibly sending an email. Calling, email, whatever, telling someone not to do whatever it is they've been doing. They're, she's walking away. They are walking away. Because your justice is here. It's almost here. This is how much effort they were putting in. And through it all, you kept pushing through. You are absolutely 
pushing through. You didn't know where you were going, but you were just like, you know what? I'm going to get to my destination. I'm just going to keep pushing forward. Justice. Absolutely justice. Some of you may be traveling a distance. Queen of Pentacles, honey. Queen of Pentacles. Two. You're being seen as genuine. You extend genuine friendship to people. Someone is having good memories or fond memories of you. Someone is reminiscing about what she did to you, Queen of Pentacles. What he did to you, Queen of Pentacles. And they are living in regret. They remember how genuine you were to them. They wish they would have accepted your genuine friendship. You extended an olive branch to someone and they rejected it because someone lied to them or because they were insecure or something about you. You seem solid. So they didn't know what to make of that. They are used to being around toxic people. So you threw them off. So whatever someone came and told them about you, they believe it. But now you're being seen as someone authentic, someone sincere, someone overused their power, abused their power over you, and that is being exposed. Honey, I am done. I will see you all in my next read. Thank you for watching. As always, goodbye for now.